They're going to experience a piece of force. Dominic and Casey and I are on a morning walk. Yeah. Casey's parents are hanging back with Hudson, but we're headed this direction. Um, we're kind of in the back of the Garden of the Gods. In fact, you can see a bit of it there, but I've turned Dominic into a walking camera. He's doing a time lapse there. So why don't we just check that footage out? Recording. Well, Blinking, is it recording? It, um, it might be recording. It blinks on it records, right? Dad will be like, where are they? And then, um, can I take my mask off now? No, not yet. We're around people. But he will be scared. Ooh, I'm not tall enough. I need you to lift me up so they can see the mountains. They can only see these, I think. Just stand back. There you go. So the battery on the GoPro died. <laughs> but look at this view, Just the right? Boys what? Just the boys. Yeah, mom's way down ahead of us here. So. We're on boy world, um, I guess. So what's great about this is that, I mean, literally took us 10 minutes to walk here from our house. Today we are headed to Cave of the Winds. I'm gonna bring Hudson tomorrow uh, because as you can see, a whole lot of this is paved. It's gonna be great. Uh, what does that say? Oh. Whoa. Dominic, what did you learn about those rocks back there? Um, I forgot. What? So does that tell me you weren't paying attention? I was. Okay. So, so can you tell me one so thing? Look, it's around me. <gasps> no, it's gonna bite me. <laughs> Just kidding. So you're saying you didn't listen? I did. Uh huh. So can you, can you tell me one thing that you learned from what I just we read and I explained to you? All right, good. That's at least one thing. But hey, Hope, you won't see me talking that much because I don't feel like talking right now. <laughs> okay. Never going to hear that again. Yeah, rare moment. Wow, this is the best vacation I've ever been on. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to give you a tour of this house yesterday. Check this place out. Double opening door here, as well as those two sections open completely up. And it's one great room. The big old kitchen there. We flip around this way. And you've got this lower level, this middle level. You can pull that barn door across and cover the staircase in case like you've got people down here hanging out. Somebody wants to go to bed, that kind of thing. There's a TV behind the barn door here and like a little desk nook there. These double doors open up and all these windows open, so there's just all this fresh air to come through the house. There's this cute little pantry back around here. <laughs> yeah, got like garden, raised garden beds and stuff back there. This is Hudson's room. We said pretty princess bed, bed. she's loving it. And then right around here, there's this little kind of media game room, little laundry spot. Yeah. Oh, hi, Denny. How was it? Great. Yeah. Here we go. Alex's room in here with a bunk bed. This is the extra room that Casey's friend is maybe going to stay in, but uh, or was going to stay in, but she's not probably coming now. 
Casey's parents are actually splitting this room, which is a couple of twin beds, and then they have a bathroom. And then on up these stairs, which we haven't made our bed because we're on vacation. There we go, okay. So there's this. Hudson's chair in there, it's great. Dominic and Hudson and I were all in there. I got all the kids washed up and we brought her table and so we're able to uh, get her all dried off and dressed and everything in here. Now granted, we've got stairs we've got to climb, but this is a really one of the best scenarios we've had on traveling. So you see our, our bed, there's a little reading nook over here. And then we've got these double French doors that we can open and go out onto our, our balcony out here. How amazing is this view, right? Holy smokes. And literally right through the trees here, you can see the some of the spires of Garden of the Gods. And then there's a fire pit that's actually a fire like pit in the front porch that you can sit in and roast marshmallows, that kind of thing. On our hike today, Casey and I were talking, we might come back again to this spot exactly. It's pretty amazing. Okay, I'm gonna go get showered, shaved, and uh, eat some lunch, and then I think we're gonna get packed up and head for Cave of the Winds. Look, I have one of those twirly hats. It was a bit of a switchbacky drive up here. In fact, I hope I remember to turn on the camera all the way down. Uh, Denny is not a big fan of heights, so he, he rode in the back on the bed without watching. <laughs> Found an overlook here. Yeah, we drove in over that ridge there, and we were on that little highway coming up. <laughs> That is a pendulum pivot. Are you glad you went first, Lisa? Yeah. And you ever been on a swing set? Yeah. It's going to be like a giant swing set, but this swing set goes 100 miles an hour. That's that is a lot. What does it take? Well, that's how you fall. It lets gravity do most of the work. As you can see, as they're tilting here, they're going to experience a huge piece of force, which is exactly what oh. <laughs> I like it big, right? Yeah. It's kind of a feeder plan. There's a flat surface over here where you have it. And this isn't kind of the largest room on the tour. Cool, Hudson. Look at this, Hudson, man. 200 feet long, 60 feet wide, 35 feet tall, depending on where you stand. And this would have been the first major room of the tour. Kind of shift down this way with me. I do want to show you this. Can you guys see all the crystals right here along the ceiling? Mm -hmm. All shiny stuff. Yeah. So this is called aragonite. Now aragonite is very, very beautiful. It's also a cousin of cave coral. You can see it growing all along right here. Very beautiful. However, it's about as sharp as a hypodermic needle. The equivalent to grabbing a handful of fiberglass insulation. You have to get an acid to dissolve it out of your skin. The so moral of the story when it comes to aragonite is oh. do not touch it, exactly. Don't do so. Uh, which that right there should be enough to keep you guys from touching the walls. Oh, I see. 
policy. Now, back in January, I had a lady on my tour. She told me gargoyles are supposed to have names. This one did not have a name, so I named it after her. This is Karen the Gargoyle, guys. <laughs> it's an honest to God, 100% true story. A very sweet lady named Karen came on tour, and history just did the rest of that one. That's funny. And right over here, you've also got the longest stalactite in Cave of the Winds. It is roughly eight and a half feet long. Stairs, hang a right. They poked a hole all the way up there. After going in there a couple of times, the workers determined it was haunted. That is where we give our haunted lantern tour. I do that tour pretty often. I've had a number of things actually happen to me back there. I've had my hair pulled, rocks thrown at me, voices, footsteps. My favorite one, out of group about 25 to 30 year olds begging to lead me to get out of there, to which my answer is always going to be no. no. Yeah, you're back in there with me for an hour and a half, whether y'all like it or not. That tour was awesome. Cappy was a little claustrophobic in there. I was a there. little claustrophobic. I had to duck a lot. <laughs> Grandpa and Hudson, like everything was fine. They walked around. Somebody took a nap. Probably both of they you. Both I don't took know. A nap. Grandma and Dominic are getting ready to do the bat apult. They're gonna go right across here. So I'm gonna flip this camera around and see if I can get a get Dominic's face. <laughs> That was pretty great. I'm proud of him. He just he just laughed. I'm surprised. He yeah, laughed. that was pretty great. About halfway down. <laughs> All right, we. Just got finished eating dinner here in Manitou Springs. And uh, there's a drum circle going over here in the park, which of course it just stops as soon as I start the, uh, as soon as I start the camera. <laughs> there's our RV and there's another RV. Somebody had the same idea as us. We had quite the long walk for dinner, but uh, we had dinner at a place called the Manitou Brewery. Had wings, food was good, good enough. Uh, unfortunately, a whole lot of the shops were not open. So we're going to head back to the house and we're going to play some Mexican train dominoes for tonight. Casey was the big winner the other night. So it's rematch time. I have one point of the Tesla game. <laughs> what? Yes, I saw a Tesla in the parking lot. <laughs> so I have one point. All right, fair enough. All right, day two of waking up in the second house. We are loaded up in here. We are at Cliff Dwellings here. Uh, Manitou Cliff Dwellings. We're gonna be here for maybe an hour or so, then we're gonna head back, get lunch, and then we're headed for, well, what? I don't wanna tell you, I'm just gonna show you. I had to park the RV. You can't even see it, it's down around that corner. And uh, it's quite the long walk up here. So dropped everybody off up front here and then the guy helped me turn it around and get it back down the hill but boy there's a hike <laughs> all right how to find the family are we still upset okay i'll just stay here you guys go ahead we're pretty comfortable here okay. this structure was a four family four room home can we go in there yeah there go so I'll tell you this, they had one heck of a view from up here. Look at that. Come on, Dad. 
All right, let's head back. Casey's holding Hudson here. She's got a lot of burping and herping going on, but. She's taking a nap now. She's in her happy spot. All right, I got her on my lap for a bit and then gave her some good bouncies, which she loves, and then cracked her back. And I got a good back pop out of there for her. So yeah, <laughs> you feel a lot better, don't you? So she has let me know that she wants to walk up in here and get closer. So I'm gonna take her up the little ramp and get her closer. Are you ready to go, kid? Okay. Go back in there so she can see how far back you can go. Go back farther to the back wall so she can see you. Hudson, can you get me out of you jail? See your brother is clear inside there. See him? Get me out of jail, get someone. <laughs> Crazy. That, that's a house, Hudson Ann. See those black things right there? They smash corn on those to make it into cornmeal to make tortilla chips. Yeah. Pretty crazy, huh? I'm making Here, I'm gonna take you in there. I can I can take you in. Okay? I got you in. Put your head. Put your head up there. Look at that. You are inside of a Hopi cliff dwelling. Isn't that crazy? Hudson, have fun.